I cannot tell you guys the last time I was awake while the sun was still down unless I was catching a flight somewhere. This is crazy. All right, it's 5.55. I did wake up at five, but I did also sit in my bed on my phone for like 25 minutes because I just could not get up. But I still woke up at five and I didn't go back to sleep, which I was really, really, really thinking that I was going to. But um, I'm gonna make a bagel while I ice roll my face. And then we're gonna go to the gym. I've really been slapping, slap, what the fuck? I've really been lacking in my sleep schedule recently. I've been going to bed at like 2 a.m., waking up at like 9, 30, 10, 10, 30, 11 some days. And I'm just not okay with that. So I decided today, since I never really participated in the whole like that girl trend thing, I decided today would be a good day to test out this 5 a.m. morning routine that we see all the TikTok girlies doing. And maybe if it changes my life enough, I'll be motivated to do this more or at least wake up a few hours earlier. Ugh. <laughs> Lately, my favorite drinking cups have been these like repurposed pasta sauce jars. It's the Classico sauces. Um, I got like a vodka sauce. I think these were both vodka sauce actually. I don't know, their vodka sauce was really good. And then look how cute the little mason jar is if you take off the label when you're done with it. It's cool. <laughs> I hate that when I put my camera up there, my steering wheel's in the way. Like I can definitely lower it. Oh wait. Not much. What the f Taking pre-workout at 6 a.m. Why? How is it so late already? It's 6.36. I've been up for an hour and a half, and I'm just getting to the gym now. This is why my days feel so much shorter than they are, because it takes me so long to do, like, simple things. Like, it took me an hour and a half just to get out of bed, eat breakfast, get ready, and drive to the gym. That is not okay. Cheers to being that freaking girl today. That girl. I actually hate that shit. Okay. Hmm. I just broke my claw clip. You guys workout was done it's currently 803 i do not know how time is passing so quickly like how have i been up for three hours already and school just started like all my friends just got to school that was a really long workout i did legs but like glue and hamstring focus pretty much i just got home a little bit ago and i'm going to make my little protein shake and then i kind of have to hurry to take a shower and get ready for my day i have to bring a check to my school and bring my friends starbucks if you guys know what senior superlatives are it's like part of the yearbook and it's like worst driver most likely to be on broadway like mr and mrs fitness whatever my best friend ryan you guys probably know her if you've been watching my videos for a while she got voted 
for most likely to have a child addicted to Starbucks. So she needs a Starbucks drink for the picture. I guess they're taking the pictures for the yearbook today. And I need to leave here at like 9.10 ish, no later than 9.10 and it's 8.34. So I kind of need to hurry, but I want to make my protein shake first. I'll show you guys everything that I put in my protein shake because I think it's so good. This is the protein powder that my dad and I have found tastes the best. There's definitely probably protein powders out there that have like more protein and more good stuff for you, but it's got protein in it and it tastes good. So I like this one. And then peanut butter and then fat-free milk. You can do like almond milk or oat milk or whatever type of milk you drink. Some non-fat Greek yogurt. This is vanilla flavored. I love this one. And then frozen bananas. And that's pretty much it. Sometimes I'll put creatine in it. I think I will today. A nice big scoop of yogurt. A couple chunks of frozen bananas. I just cut these up and then throw them in the freezer and put them in all of my smoothies and my shakes. And then yeah, you have a nice little protein shake that's good for you and that also tastes good. Um, protein shakes never taste good in my opinion, but this recipe, try it and you will, you will thank me. It literally tastes like a milkshake. It is so good. Okay, y'all, I have approximately 20 minutes until I have to leave and I need to shower and get ready. <laughs> and I'm tweaking. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna wash my hair because I really didn't sweat that much and also I washed my hair last night before I went to bed and I can just not wash my hair every day. So I'm gonna show you guys my gym hair routine. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Dry shampoo, any dry shampoo that you like will work. I've been using this one from Beach Waver and it is the best smelling dry shampoo I have ever tried. It works pretty decent, it's not my favorite. It's called Second Chance. Basically before my body shower, I just go in with this and spray it all over. Okay, and then I do not rub it in at all. This one doesn't really leave a white cast, but if it was like any other dry shampoo, you would see a bunch of white in my hair. Then you just flip it up into a bun and let that dry shampoo marinate in a shower cap while you take your shower. Let's get it. Oh my God, I have no time. I have no time. Okay, I have five minutes to do some makeup. I feel like that girl makeup is very natural, like no makeup makeup anyways. So... <sighs> I think I'm good. I don't know how I went from having unlimited time this morning to literally rushing. I just wish I was tan because when I'm tan, I literally do not feel the need to put any face makeup on. See, right now is the type of situation I really wish I had my lash extensions still. I made it to my school in time, thank god. I dropped off my check, I dropped off Ryan's Starbucks, and I dropped off a megaphone for my other friend. She called me like last minute right before I was about to leave my house and she was asking if I could bring my megaphone so that she could take a picture with it because she got voted like most talkative so she wanted like the megaphone. Anywho, Ryan also got me a drink and a cake pop which was nice, but I'm going to get gas. I'm at the gas station. I didn't even know that I needed gas today, but I just got the low fuel notification. So let's get it. We're is my wallet. Oh, should I get a car wash? to the grocery store because I figured that there was a few things that that girl has that I don't. Um, so I had to pick some things up. So the first thing that I picked up is this little bunch of flowers. I think these are called like gypsos or something. I didn't want to spend $20 on flowers. All the other flowers were like 20 bucks and these ones were $4.99 and I also love how these look. Like these are definitely like filler flowers. Like you put them in the vase with other flowers like roses and it like makes them look better. But in my opinion, these are cute as is and I think that these would be so cute in this little vase. It has like little dots on it. Isn't that cute? Um, and then I got a cheesecloth because I don't have a juicer and I have a bunch of celery that I'm not gonna eat like 
raw. So I heard that you can freeze celery into little chunks and then blend it in the blender and then strain it through here and it's like a juice. And then I picked up this little mug. I saw it and I was like, that girl would definitely have that mug. And then the last two things that I got are some pre-made juices. I was just gonna get one green juice, but this one was on sale. It was like buy one, get one free. <laughs> Does that look dumb? Okay, you guys, I came back up to my room and I changed because I was sweating for some reason. So I put on my new favorite shorts. These are like the cargo fleece sweat shorts from Aritzia. They're literally the comfiest shorts I own. I recommend these a hundred times over again. They're also just adorable. And then the tank top is just a halter tank from Princess Polly. I'm going to clean my room up a little bit because I have not like dusted or like wiped my surfaces off in... Mm, I'm ashamed to say it, but probably like two months and that's disgusting. So I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning because that girl <coughs> That girl That girl, what is my hair doing? That girl definitely dusts her surfaces. I don't use like a duster I literally just spray this like mr. Clean clean freak spray I just like spray it on the surface and then I wipe it down with a paper towel. Oh My god Hi guys, I just um, cleaned my room up, cleaned my room up a little bit. I feel like I'm gonna pass out, but this shit's funny as fuck. I'm so tempted to suck the helium out of this one too. This one's kind of cute, but it's kind of flat. Hello, hello. I gotta stop before I fucking die. Look at my flowers though. Look how cutie. I love them. I kind of want to try this green juice. It looks like it's going to be disgusting. I'm going to pour it in here. Oh no. Alright, I'm going to go back upstairs, but let's try this. <laughs> I hate this life. I've drank this much of my little green juice so far. It's really not that bad. The more you drink it, the better it gets. And um, it's healthy, right? That's the point. That's why people drink this, I think. It's currently 12.30 now, and I am just blown away. I feel like I have lived an entire day already. Like, I feel like it should be 5 p.m. I've done so much, and I feel so good, and I feel so motivated. Like, maybe waking up at 5 a.m. is, like good. I mean, nobody said it wasn't. I just always have convinced myself, like, I'm a night owl. I'm not a morning person. And I've kind of, like, put myself in that box and not tried to change it. Um, but this day is really making me rethink everything because I would love to be able to wake up, maybe not at 5, but at, like, 6, 6.30, 7 at least. I feel like I would be so much happier if I woke up earlier. Anywho, I just took these pictures for my Instagram story and also for the thumbnail of this video because oftentimes I forget to take pictures while I'm filming for the thumbnail and that's like a very important part but right now I'm gonna go on Pinterest and I'm gonna look at that girl like aesthetic how many times am I gonna say that girl I don't know truthfully I don't know I just want to like look at pictures under that category and see what else I could do I do need to make lunch soon <laughs> I saw this salad on Pinterest while I was searching that girl aesthetic and I've actually made this salad before I love it it's basically like a spinach strawberry like balsamic salad I don't know the actual name of it but I used arugula and spinach and then I cut up some strawberries on it put some feta cheese and some walnuts I'm not a huge walnut person so there's only a few but this looks pretty good Hi, it's been a little bit. It's currently 2.30 and I spent the last like hour doing a mix of editing and then also planning out my next podcast episode. I do like an outline so that I don't get like too off track and I kind of like know what I'm gonna talk about before I just like turn the camera on, turn my mic on and like start recording. But I haven't decided if I wanna actually film the episode today or not. <laughs> 
We'll have to see because me and my brother are going to Best Buy right now to pick up some security cameras <laughs> for the home. And after that, I don't have anything to do besides edit and vacuum. So I'm gonna go to Best Buy. I'm not gonna bring you guys with me just because it's not really like a part of this video, but I will see you guys when I get back from Best Buy and update you on how the day is going and what I plan on doing next. Okay, so the night did not go as planned. It's currently 7.46 and I feel like I've been awake for three days straight. I feel like it should be midnight right now. I just, I can't get over it. I literally want to wake up tomorrow at 5 a.m. again because this was so great and I'm not even that tired. Like I'm starting to like kind of get a little tired, but that's normal. That's what's supposed to happen around this time of night. Eight, nine, ten, you're supposed to be getting tired so that you can go to sleep at like a decent time. I normally don't get tired until like 3 a.m. That's my issue. And then I stay up till 3 a.m. And then I sleep all day. So me and my brother went to Best Buy to get security cameras for the house because there's been some weird shit going on. Um, and then we went to Chipotle. We ate there, kind of like took our time eating. And then we got back. I sat in my bed for like 10 minutes. And then my brother was like, okay, like I want to go back to my house. Like he's going back to his house like two hours away tonight. He was like, I want to drive back now. Like let's get these security cameras put up because I needed him to like actually hang them because like my dad didn't want to do it and whatever so we hung the security cameras and then that's pretty much where we're at right now it's 7 48 like i said i don't really know like what else this video can entail i'm going to put all of my laundry that i did today away i'm gonna fold that and put it all away and then i think i'm just gonna edit for the rest of the night until i go to sleep and hopefully i can go to sleep at a decent time but yeah i think that's it for this video i love you guys so freaking much thank you so much for watching let me know if you guys have ever tried tried like waking up at 5 a.m like for no particular reason like not for school or work or anything like that because i know that i have never woken up at 5 a.m unless i've had something to do at 5 a.m you know what i mean so let me know if you've ever just like taken a weekend or like a day in the summer and like woken up i mean some of you guys are probably like duh like you're morning people and like you just like getting up early or like you've always just gotten up early but like that's not me so if you're also not a morning person i encourage you to just try this once and just see how much like you get done and how long your day feels and just how how good you feel about yourself with that being said i do have a podcast now it's called things could be worse it's on apple Podcasts, spotify and visually on youtube at the things could be worse youtube channel all of the links to listen and follow along with the podcast are all linked in the description box so if you guys haven't already checked it out i would really 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 appreciate it if you did i'm really proud of it it's really exciting i think that's pretty much it i love you guys and i will see you next time bye bye